Jesus Christ is the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness. And illumine your church. Joyous light of glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ. We have come to the setting of the sun, and we look to the evening light. We sing to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy of being praised with pure voices forever. O Son of God, O giver of life, the universe proclaims your glory. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who led your people Israel by a pillar of cloud by day, and a pillar of fire by night. Enlighten our darkness by the light of your Christ. May his word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are merciful and you love your whole creation and we, your creatures, glorify you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. O Lord, I call to you, come to me quickly. Hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a watch before my mouth, O Lord, and guard the door of my lips. Let not my heart incline to any evil thing. Let me not be occupied in wickedness with evil doers. But my eyes are turned to you, Lord God. You I take refuge, strip me not of my life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Let the incense of our repentant prayer ascend before you, O Lord, and let your loving kindness descend upon us that with purified minds we may sing your praises with the church on earth and the whole heavenly host, 
and may glorify you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. This Ash Wednesday scripture reading is from Luke 18, verses 9 through 14. He also told this parable to some who trusted in themselves that they were righteous and treated others with contempt. Two men went up into the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee, standing by himself, prayed thus, God, I thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I give tithes of all that I get. But the tax collector, standing far off, would not even lift up his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified, rather than the other. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but the one who humbles himself will be exalted. Here ends the scripture reading. The following is from the NALC devotional from Ashes to Easter and was written by the Reverend David Wendell. It is often said that Ash Wednesday is the threshold over which we step into the season of Lent. In generations past, it seemed, it seemed Christians knew more about what they were stepping into. Today, society as a whole pays no attention to Ash Wednesday and Lent, and this inattention is reflected in the lives of many Christians as well. Ash Wednesday may be even more neglected this year, given the pandemic and the reality that many are still not worshiping in person. Some congregations are not offering Ash Wednesday services, so that many Lutherans may slip past Ash Wednesday without realizing it. Sadly, this distancing from the rhyme and rhythm of the church year may keep us from hearing again that stark, solemn reminder spoken to Adam by the Lord God, you are dust and to dust you shall return. Normally, these words call us to repentance and return during Lent as we come face to face with the shortness and frailty of human life. However, the reading above serves the same purpose as Jesus tells a parable about men who trusted in themselves and treated others with contempt. He contrasts those with a tax collector who knows himself to be a sinner, unwilling to even lift his eyes to heaven, praying simply, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Ash Wednesday and Lent are about coming to grips with our own sinfulness realizing and acknowledging that we cannot justify or trust in ourselves so that we turn anew to our Lord and, Jesus, Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who died and was raised for us, that we might be forgiven, saved, and redeemed by God's grace. The journey of Lent is intended to create and renew in us a broken and contrite heart. Humility in the presence of God and others which causes us to see our need for a Savior, yield to Him as our Lord and God, responding by loving and serving our neighbor. In this sense, Ash Wednesday and Lent are a reorientation of our hearts and lives as our eyes are turned once again away from the many things toward the one thing which is needful, Jesus Christ. May Ash Wednesday and Lent find us humbly sitting at the feet of Jesus by way of these brief daily devotions with renewed focus on our Savior and Lord. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets. But now, but now in these last days, he has spoken, spoken to us by his Son. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servants. From this day all generations will call me blessed. 
Peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our pastors in Christ, for all servants of the church, and for all the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our public servants, for the government, for those who protect us, that they may be upheld and strengthened in every good deed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who work to bring peace, justice, health, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who bring offerings, those who do good works in this congregation, those who toil, those who sing, and all the people here present who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the faithful who have gone before us and are at rest, let us give thanks to the Lord. Alleluia. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Rejoicing in the fellowship of all the saints, let us commend ourselves 
one another and our whole life to Christ our Lord. To you, O Lord. O God, from whom come all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, our Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve you. Amen. Amen.